Hey everybody, it's Maya and today is a very exciting video because we will be reviewing Kesha's makeup line. Um, she collaborated with Hip Dot, which is a very small makeup company who is like best known for their glitter shades or their shimmer shades. I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. Regardless of Kesha's line, I've always wanted to try Hip Dot altogether. So I will be trying them with her makeup. Now disclaimer, my makeup style isn't very crazy. So you guys are probably thinking, why did you buy her makeup line then if you don't like crazy colors? Because one, it's Kesha. And two, because I'm trying to venture out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Let me just show everything really quickly. <laughs> Um, this is the palette. It's gorgeous. Like, it literally, like, this is, like, nice and fuzzy. And then the palette is just so soft and it's textured. And then the back of it is just the description. And it comes with this cute little tassel. And the inside of the palette is this. It comes with this big mirror. And here's the palette. Very pretty but also very um what's the word what's the word really quickly very imitating and very intimidating <laughs> i can't talk i am currently sipping on some of this because i'm trying to be more alive in my videos because I'm, i have a very relaxed personality and some people tend to take that as boring or quiet and it's not i'm just more of a soft talker, you know? That's how I like to describe it. I don't know if anyone else noticed this, um, but this kind of is like, because Hip Dot also released a holiday collection and all the colors in there kind of can go with every single holiday event. Same with this palette, because you got green, silver, this red for Christmas, or you can use the burgundy. You have orange and this burgundy shade for Thanksgiving. You have the pinks and the shimmery colors for Valentine's Day. You have green for St. Patrick's Day. Um, basically, this whole side of the palette is like summer and spring. This side is more fall and winter. And then New Year's, you have like a black. You got this blue. You got all these. Like it's just, it's just a lot. Like you can use it for every holiday, use it for every event, or for every day. You can use some of the colors um it's just a very universal palette and that's why i bought it because for all the events like all the holidays and stuff this would be perfect for that and then the lipstick is this cute little rose gold is this rose gold or is that copper or is it bronze i don't want to like say the wrong thing but it's this cute um finish and this is magnetic I thought that was really cool and it's just a red orange kind of lipstick like it's you know when you have red lipsticks they either tend to fall more red blue or red orange this one's more of a red orange and then you have the Kesha Rose um, lip gloss this is a plumping lip gloss it's called that I don't swear but we will it's called that bitch lip gloss so that's actually really fun. But what I thought was really interesting about this lip gloss, like, one thing I have to say is I don't really like the applicator because it's like a nail polish brush, but I haven't used it yet. We will be using it when I put makeup on. But like, based off of looks, I prefer lip glosses that have like that fuzzy applicator, you know, the thick one that like gloops it all over. Yeah. But the interesting thing about this is that it's pH balanced or pH, whatever the thing is, pH leveled. I don't know, but <laughs> it tints your lips a pink specific to your lips and your skin tone. So like, it'll flatter you. It's not just like a universal, it's not just like one pink color that looks the same on everyone. Like it will tint to you. So I'm really excited to see that, like really excited. 
And then you have the two eyeliners. I've been talking for 10 minutes and I haven't put anything on my face yet. You have the one that's called, well, these are whatever, wherever ones. That's the name of them. And this one is called Cowboy Blues. This has the black and blue. And this one is called um, Stay Gold or Stay Golden. Let me see. Stay Gold. It has a yellow, no, it has a gold and a orange. Now the yellow, now the gold and the orange and the blue are all metallics. And the black is a, I don't know if it's a matte black or a shiny black, but it's just black. There's no glitter in it or anything. This palette is untouched, so everything in here is my first impression, first opinion. Here are the swatches in the flash. As you can see, they look really nice. My cute nails, except for that, this eyeliner. Oops. You got... That purple shade is so nice. But yeah. And then here's the eyeliners. See the black that it did kind of fade a little bit into my lines, but let's see how it looks in the eyes later. You have the lipstick. Let's bring my brightness down. Lips and the lip gloss turn into that nice pretty pink. So we'll see what that all looks like later, but yeah. Alright, so I just wiped all the swatches off. The black eyeliner does tend to stain a little bit, so keep that in mind. But let's get in to this eyeshadow. Now, also a critique I have. There's no... There's not really a transition shade in this palette. They don't have a white. There is no nude color. It's all just boom. So I'm just going to pack on the pink all over since it's the lightest shade. And it's also a matte. There's only one, two, three, four, five. There's five mattes in here. Pink, orange, red, burgundy, and lime green. So the pink is the best option for a transition shade other than an orange but you know so I'm just gonna go dip into what's just called pageantry and fix it nicely in the brush I'm gonna use the mirror and put that all over my lid nice transition a nice soft pink that's just the first layer but I will be building that up this pink shade is very cute I would wear this like every day and just pop this in the lids and then eyeliner and mascara and be good to go but it's actually applying very nicely it just looks really pretty I would just wear that on its own at least my eyes and my nails match that's it they're the exact same color oh my god did I even point I went into this shade yeah so next, we will deepen up the inner corner or the outer corners with this cute. No, I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. We're gonna use a fluffy crease brush and go into Backstabber and use that in the outer V and in the crease. So first, I'm just gonna like place it kind of where I want it and then I'm gonna build it up in a second that's really pretty I would actually wear that on its own like these two together that's really pretty let me just yeah I like that a lot it's like you know I'm gonna deepen up this backstabber shade some more so is so soft like it literally like my eyes look soft you know it's not patchy or anything like it just looks so cute 
for the lid, I'm going to go in with Honey. Should I or should I go in with TikTok? Honey looks like it would go more with the look. So I'm going to go into that. Um, I'm going to take a brush first. And then if it doesn't apply that well, we're going to go in with my finger. So I'm going to take that on a flat, fluffy, like, it's like a flat, dense brush. I think this is a concealer brush or something, but I like to use it for my lids. And we're just going to place that all over that. Ooh, that's so pretty. Can you see that? Let me just take the brightness down. Wow. That's actually really nice. But I... See, I don't really like that much pigment, so I kind of like that on its own. Now I'm going on the other eye, I'm going to use my finger, just to see that if there's any difference at all. Definitely a difference, I would say. Hold on. Okay, there's a difference, but it's like not that much, like, it's like glitter everywhere, like, you see that. <laughs> But that's really pretty like that. You see there is fallout with this shade. It does tend to fall down. That's why I didn't do my face makeup first. But it's not a lot of all. It's just over here so it looks kind of pretty. So I'm not going to get rid of it. But I will use the brush though to finish up both eyes. Kesha said that she likes to use this shade as a highlight. I think that would be really cute too if you have a little bit of deeper skin than me. I'm very pale for reference. I'm the lightest shade of foundation. Even though I don't really think I look that pale, but then I see my chest and I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely the lightest shade. <laughs> you know, Kesha is a little bit, I don't know if she's more tan than me. I think she is, definitely. But if you have more tan skin or deeper skin, anything like that, that would be like a really nice highlighting shade for you. But when I swatched it on my wrist earlier, it did have a darker reflection, so I would have a dark cast. I feel like if people would, like, were looking at me, talking to them, they would just be like, what is on your eyes? Like, it's so nice. You know, I will be back. I'm going to complete the rest of my face. I'm going to do foundation. I'm definitely drunk right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do foundation. I'm going to do some blush i'm gonna do some contour highlight all that fun stuff and then i'll be back for my lower lash line and for my lipstick and my eyeliner and mascara so see y'all in three minutes but for you it'll be right now all right guys i am back i just applied my face and i feel like an art piece like look and my highlight it's so gold it's this let me show you it's the best highlight it's by cover girl and this highlight is literally the best like it's like a nice pink like a rose that's literally rose gold but it's it works for pale skin like there's no dark cast on my cheeks when i'm like when i turn away it just is so nice it's blinding and i went and obviously i have foundation contour blush highlight i did my inner corner highlight i did my brow highlight and look at this eyeshadow it is so freaking pretty i looked at it in the mirror and i was like like i literally screamed because it's so nice I don't want to ruin this by being too pink and crazy but i really want to play with woman which is pink shade on the bottom for my lower lash line and my lower lash line usually disappears anyway so who cares you know, who cares good it looks nice it actually looks like it ties together well it literally looks like it belongs there i'm glad i did that it's a sophisticated pink that you can wear every day and I love that 
I'm definitely gonna hit pan with all the shades that I just used. But yeah, now I'm gonna deepen up the bottom a little bit more with the um, backstabber just to um, connect the two. I think that's it for the eye look. I like that a lot. You are probably expecting me to go into like the greens and the blues and I really want to but I'm scared because I'm just wearing this for the rest of the day. So I wanted to wear more of a look that I, I'm glad I can create a look that looks like my go-to palette. I literally brought this just to show you guys is Opalescent by BH Cosmetics. Like it's literally neutrals with like pops of some fantasy magical colors like look at these side by side do these look any alike no not at all i usually create something like this with that palette but i'm so glad i can create it with this and when i need to i can literally spice it up for the holidays like i definitely will be coming out with tutorials for um like christmas and new year's and all that stuff with this probably most likely with that palette you know and i'm really scared because I just spent all this time on my face and on my eyes. And if I ruin this with this eyeliner, I will not forgive myself. So, we're going to keep it nice and simple and do a very thin, natural, everyday wing. So I cannot screw that up. Like, if I do, I will not forgive myself. I've, never, I've also never used a pen like this before. So, let's hope this goes well. Ooh. I like it already. What? Oh my god, that's like so precise. Sorry, I'm just like doing little sections at a time. That is so easy. I never do my eyeliner like I always just apply it to my outer. I never do like the whole thing. And I was just able to do it right now. Like this is so thin that it's so and it's so like pigmented and like the pen is like liquid enough that you can just stick it in there. And it just goes. That was so easy. Look how precise that looks. What? That smile, that smile I just made was a confident smile. Like, I feel like a bad bitch. Like, I, and I'm also drinking, so that also has to do with it. Like, but damn, like, look at me. Like, ooh, like my eyes. That was the easiest wing liner I've ever done. Like, that is the has been the easiest application ever like i've never been able to create wing eyeliner eyeliner this good in forever like they're not the most even but they are more even than they've ever probably been in my life i literally just told myself i'm gorgeous like i don't know if it's like the alcohol talking or if it's like this makeup jesus christ like i feel so pretty and I literally feel like, like I feel like I'm like a 10 I never feel like that and lastly is time for lipstick and I will be applying Raising Hell the red one and then we're going to take it off and we're going to put on the lip gloss now like I said the red lipstick is not going to match with this look at all definitely for, for Christmas though but not for this look so I'm just gonna swatch it on my lips just for my skin tone. Like, I have really pale skin, so let's see if it, like, looks good on me. Are you kidding me? A red lipstick that I can wear, regardless of my eyes, look at it on my skin tone. Like, regardless of the makeup look that I just did. It dried down matte, like it's literally dry. I do not feel it at all. It does not feel like regular lipstick. Regular lipstick, when you apply it onto your lips, 
it feels creamy and it feels like you're actually wearing lipstick this feels like my lips like there's no stickiness no nothing and barely well, let me test this one i would say it passes the kiss test because you can't really see it like i mean it, i think if you applied more it probably wouldn't but that i would say it passes the kiss test but this actually really looks really amazing on my skin. Like with this gray, if I had more of a neutral eye on or if I had something with like green in it. Oh my god. I love this lipstick. Finally, a red lipstick that I can wear. I always thought that I wouldn't be able to wear red lipstick just because my skin is so light. And that it was just, I would feel like a clown. But I feel like... A beauty queen link. I literally feel so nice in this. Look at it. I'm sorry. Like, I love it. Especially in the mirror right now. I'm going to apply the lip gloss. And let's see what this looks like. Ooh. I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator as soon as you kind of have to like paint it on but it feels very soft oh I like the way it feels oh my lips look like my lips look so juicy Not sticky. What? Wait, look at my lips. Like, look at them. Look how it just tinted them. Oh my god. Look how it just tinted them. Look how pink that just got. It literally looks like a hot pink. My boyfriend is going to love this. I thought it was going to make them like a baby pink. Like, I didn't. Like, that literally is hot pink. And it's like tingling because it's like a limp plumper. Look how big my lips look. Let's be the thumbnail. Like, I don't know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Holy Christ. Like, I. It tastes kind of like when you lip, rub your lips together, it kind of tastes like peppermint. This is so pretty. I expected it to be like a clear lip gloss and it would like tint me like a little bit, but Jesus. I cannot wait to go to school next semester with this lip gloss on and just sit there in class like, like look at me, you know? I'm feeling myself, but that's the end of this makeup. I am in love. Like, I have never felt so pretty. Like, ugh. If you guys are wondering how Kesha's makeup line is, 10 out of 10. Everything in here, bomb. Every product in here, amazing. Eyeshadow, so nice. So soft, it applied so nicely. Those swatches really didn't, like, they were nice, but didn't live up to the expectation. Like, they're perfect eyeliner so easy to apply and then the lip gloss and the lipstick like that lipstick i've never been able to wear a red and be comfortable i'm so comfortable in that and this lip gloss like i feel like i anyways thank you guys so much for watching um like i said this whole collection is 84 dollars exactly on hip.com um or you can go to kasharosebeauty.com as well. I think that also links to hip dot as well. But yeah, if you didn't, please pick up this palette and this whole set. Like, you will not regret it. This is so pretty. I, I have a lot of makeup and nothing has ever been able. Like, this is my new favorite. I will be wearing this every single day. Ugh. Anyways, 
bye guys thank you for watching i'll be back with more videos coming soon and yeah see you next time